Good morning. In our lesson for today, we are going to learn something about the story devices we have. Today, our lesson is on the introduction to computer. As we started earlier on, we are still on the strand one of the computer. That is a part of computer. We are going to learn more about the portable storage devices, the optical decks, and the other storage devices. Today, in our strand one, that is the last topic under this strand, a storage portable hard drives, optical decks, and other drives. So, we are going to learn much about storage devices. What is a storage device? We are going to talk more about this. But as I said earlier on, our main topic for today is storage, portable hard drives, optical decks, and other drives. What is a storage device? A storage device is a device that is used to store save or keep files and folders for future use that is they are devices used for keeping other folders information data for future use they can also be referred to as backup devices backup in the sense that when they keep the data or files they keep them for future use so today our story device here can be linked to the refrigerator in our houses that is the fridge you see the fridge is used for storing and keeping foodstuffs for future so that it doesn't spoil here the storage devices in the computer are also used to keep files and folders for future use that is for safe keeping types of storage devices basically there are three types of storage devices one the primary storage device two the secondary storage device three the tertiary storage devices that is we have we have three basic storage devices at our standard of learning these are the examples of storage devices we have the express care model the cd or the dvd internal hard disk and other kinds of storage devices Storage portable hard drives, optical decks, and drives. Our topic for today, when we say a storage portable hard disk, it is a storage device that usually contains a 2-inch laptop hard drive and can be powered directly by the USB connector. They are also referred to as external hard disk drive. This kind of storage device we are referring to are external ones that are not fixed within the computer we can also refer to them as peripheral hard drive that is it is being connected to the computer with the help of a usb cable which connects to the usb port of the laptop or the computer for data to be transferred in and out of the computer or the hard disk drive let's look at this kind of story device we are talking about this is the external hard disk drive or the portable hard drive you see it has a cable and then the device itself how is it connected to the computer now you connect the cable through the usb port on the laptop or the computer then you connect the cable to the hard drive also for easy transfer of information from the laptop to the hard drive or from the hard drive to the computer optical disk is a storage device that uses a laser light or that is used to read data it has the shape of a flat panel plate that is this storage device comes in the form of a flat panel and it has a shape like um, in the form of a round shape which uses the light laser to
to read data onto the disk. That is when it is inserted into the computer through a ROM, the data is being read onto the CD in the form of a light so that data can also be copied. We have three types of these optical decks. We have CD, we have DVD, we have the Blu-ray decks. Now, this optical disc comes in different sizes. That is, it has its capacity of data it can hold up to. Now, the CD being the first one, which is also known as a compact disc, can hold up to 700 megabytes of data. That is, it can go beyond this size. Now, the DVD can hold up to the 8.4 gigabytes of data. That is, anything beyond or above the 700 megabytes has to go onto the DVD. Now, the Blu-ray disc, which is the largest of all, can hold up to 50 gigabytes of data, meaning anything above the 8.4 gigabytes of data has to be kept on the Blu-ray disc. This is the compact disc, also known as the CD. It is used for keeping or saving information. Now, these are the three types of optical storage devices we have. We have the compact disc, that is the CD, the DVD, and the Blu-ray disc. In order to differentiate between these optical discs, you will see the size or the name of the particular optical drive written on it. Like the CD will written on its CD, DVD, the BD means Blu-ray disc. These are all written on the optical discs to make easy differentiation. Now, we have types of optical disc drives. We have the CD-ROM, DVD-ROM, and then the Blu-ray-ROM. The ROM here, that is the actual device that holds the CD or the DVD or the Blu-ray decks. These are the ROMs we have. We have three different types. Now, among even the optical decks, we have two types. We have the CD rewritable or the CD writable. The CDR means the CD writable, means data can be copied onto the decks. That is, when you get this kind of CD, DVD, or the Blu ray decks, you can copy data onto it. When we talk about the CDRW, that is CD rewritable. This kind of optical disc or CD or DVD, when data is copied onto it, the data can be erased for a new file or data to be copied on it. So the only difference here is that the, re the rewritable ones can be rewritten, that is rewritten again. What is on it can be erased for new ones to be copied on it. The writable ones are ones we can only copy them data or files onto it without erasing them now this is what a dvd blu-ray disc or a dvd this is how it looks like these ones are normally found in the laptops or those uh, mini desktop computers we have this is a typical dvd rom this is a rom and this is a typical blu-ray drive rom you see, the name is written on it, B, that is the Blu-ray, indicating it can hold DVD, CD, and then a Blu-ray disc at a time. Other drives. In our lesson, we said we are going to talk about the external hard drive, which we've already talked about. We also talked about the optical disc. Now, let's see the kind or the types of other drives that are used for saving and keeping files. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of all these drives. These are storage devices in different formats. We have the floppy, the tape drive, the zip drive, and other kinds of drive. Let's see them. These are the other drives we have. We have the Express Care model, which is used for saving and keeping data when it is being connected to the computer or inserted. We have the internal hard disk drive, which is always found inside the computer system. We have the CD. We've talked about already the standard hard disk drive. We have the miniature hard disk. We have the smart card, the flash memory card, the PC card, and the USB flash drive. The USB flash drive here is the same as the pen drive we've always been using. These are all kinds of storage devices that are used for saving and keeping files. 
so these are all forms of devices that are used for saving data for future use and they are all used as backup devices a variety of storage devices we have so it's not only the external or the cd that is used for saving or keeping files these are all used in saving and keeping files for future use a recap of what we've learned today so far today we've learned about a story device and we said a story device is a device that is used to store save or keep files in folders for future use we have types of devices that we talked about that is the story devices we talked about the primary story devices in our recap i'll show you a picture this and this is a picture of the primary storage device when they are fixed into the computer system they can be taken out these are the storage devices that the secondary storage devices and i told you earlier on the secondary storage devices are in the form of peripherals they are, can be upgraded at any time they can be taken also off the computer mm -hmm. and they can be brought in at any point in time this is a picture of the tertiary storage device we talked about well, the tertiary ones, you see, when we started talking about the types of computer, we made mention about the mainframe computer. These are typical examples of the mainframe computers, and they are now used as the backup or the service that is for saving data in a large quantity. You see, these are huge devices that are used by big and other organizations in the world. A typical example of the the mini that is the mainframe computers which are now used as the tertiary storage devices we came to portable storage devices we learned about the portable storage device or the drive which is the same as the external hard drive today we learned it uses a cable to connect to the computer through the usb port that is how it is being connected to the computer and this is the external hard disk drive we talked about optical drive they are flat panel in shape they come in different types we have the cd dvd and the blue redux and this is a picture of the optical storage devices other drives we talked about remember i made mention of a floppy disket and this is what is known as a floppy disk this is a floppy disk and this is a zip drive this flash drive is the same as M drive, the CD rewritable, DVD writable, the storage tape that is the tape I mentioned earlier on. These are all other forms of devices used for storing and keeping files for future use. So these are all storage devices. In our last lesson, we are going to talk much about the features on the desktop of a computer. We are going to navigate, we are going to explore, we are going to see the kind of items that are found on desktop, what are their, their uses, what are their functions. So to meet again in our next lesson, let's take this assignment. Differentiate between external drive and optical disk. Stay two types of optical drive. Let's try examples of other story devices. So we meet again in our next lesson. I wish you well. Stay blessed. Thank you.